For book one, proposition number 38 of Euclid's Elements, triangles which are on equal bases and in the same parallels are equal to one another. So if we start with two triangles, the triangle ABC and the triangle DEF, and we know that they have equal bases, BC and EF are equal, and they both end on this line AD, which is parallel to their bases, then we can prove that these two triangles are equal to each other. And to start this, let's first take this line AD and extend it in both directions, which we can do because of postulate number two. So postulate number two allows us to extend this to let's call these points G and H. So we just created the line HG and then we want to use book one, proposition number 31, which allows us to construct a line parallel to a given line through a point. So let's construct a line parallel to the line DE, but through this point F, and we can label this point up here as K. So we just created FK which is parallel to the line ED. And now we wanna do the same thing, but on the other triangle. So over here, we wanna construct a line parallel to the line AC, but through this point here, B. And we'll label this point up here as L. So we just created BL, and we know it's parallel to the line AC. From here, we wanna notice that we now have two parallelograms, LBCA and DEFK. And we know due to book one, proposition number 36, that these two parallelograms are equal to each other because they have equal bases and they end on the same line that's parallel to their bases. So we can write that parallelogram LBCA is equal to parallelogram K, F, E, and D. So now let's just focus on this right-hand parallelogram and notice that this line D, F cuts right across the middle or it essentially bisects it, which we know it does due to book one, proposition number 34. Or in other words, this triangle here is exactly half of the parallelogram. So let's write that triangle DEF is half of the parallelogram DEFK or KFED. And with the same argument using this book one proposition number 34, we can look at the other parallelogram, noticing that this line AB bisects it so this triangle ABC would be half the area of this parallelogram. So triangle ABC is half of the parallelogram LBCA. And since triangle DEF is half of this parallelogram and triangle ABC is half of this other parallelogram and we know that the two parallelograms are equal, we can conclude that the halves of equal things are equal to one another. Or in other words, we now know that triangle ABC is equal to triangle DEF. And we can finish with QED.